Hi, Dave Williams here, and in this video, I want to show you how to design a counter with an arbitrary sequence using JK flip-flops. Now, I've set up an arbitrary sequence here, 7312546, 7312546, repeating over and over and over again, and doing this count in a digital circuit means that these decimal numbers will have to be represented in binary. So I'm going to redo this sequence in binary, but also show a state transition diagram or a state machine that's showing how the numbers transition from one state to another. So start at 7, then to go to 3, and then go to 1, and then 2, 5, 4, 6. So each one of these 3-bit numbers here represents a state. And the combination of the three bits is a single binary number. And what I'm going to draw after all these circles is the transition from state to state. So from 7 we go to 3, from 3 we go to 1, from 1 we go to 2, from 2 go to 5, from 4, or sorry, from 5 we go to 4, from 4 we go to 6, and then from 6 back to 7, and this state machine just keeps going in circles around all seven of these different states. To implement this state transition diagram in a logic circuit or in a digital circuit, each one of the bits, the most significant bit, the middle bit, and the least significant bit, need to be represented by a flip-flop. So because there's three bits, we will need three flip-flops. We will need three flip-flops in this design. It can be any type of flip-flop, but I said at the beginning that we will do this design with JK flip-flops. So for each one of these flip-flops, there's my J and my K, there's my clock, and here's my third flip-flop with the clock. So there will be a common clock to all of these flip-flops because it is a synchronous counter. And at the output of each one of these flip-flops is the Q. And we have Q0 here, Q1 here, and Q2 here. So the, the idea in this design is to figure out what is the logic that's going to be created for the J0 and the K0 signal for the J1 and the K1 signals, and for the J2 and the K2 signals. So ultimately what we'll end up with, we have these three flip-flops, but for each one of these signals, there's six of them, we'll need to come up with some kind of a logic expression that's going to create a circuit, create a system, that will create a state machine that transitions in this sequence. So now that I know all my states and how I transition from state to state as I'm showing in this diagram, what I can create is a state transition table. And what the state transition table shows is all of, all of the possible current states and how they transition into the next states. And really this, what this is is, a, is the same thing as this diagram, but just in a table form. And in the table, the current state is made up of the Q2, Q1, and the Q0 values, and the next day is also made up of the Q2, Q1, and Q0 values. I'm just going to fill in the current state table in the standard counting sequence of binary numbers. Now interestingly, this first current state of the table, 0, 0, 0, doesn't show up in my state transition diagram. So there's a couple of things I can do. I can just go, I can just ignore that state and say, well, if I'm in that state, then whatever. I can transition to whatever other state that I want. But it's a, it's a little bit more robust if I say, if I am in the state of 0, 0, 0, define what the next state is as some state in the table. In my, in my initial sequence, I had 1, 1, 1 as the first state. So let's make the next state, if we're in 0, 0, 0, be 1, 1, 1. Then I'm if, if I'm in 0, 0, 1 state, which is here, the next state is 0, 1, 0. If I'm in the 0, 1, 0 state, the next state is 1, 0, 1. If I'm in the 0, 1, 1 state, which is here, my next state is 0, 0, 1. 
If I'm in 1, 0, 0, my next state is 1, 1, 0. If I'm in 1, 0, 1, my next state is 1, 0, 0. If I am in the state 1, 1, 0, my next state is 1, 1, 1. And if I'm in the 1, 1, 1 state, the next state is 0, 1, 1. So here's my state transition table, just a reworking of the diagram into a table form. So all that I've done so far is taken what I want and converted it into a table form showing for every single state in my system that I can have in my system what is the state that I will transition to next. So check out video two of the arbitrary sequence synchronous counter series to find out what the next steps in this design are.